a tremendous pleasure to be speaking with you today. Now back to the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show on AM 800. Okay, welcome back to the show. Dan Jemis with you here along with Matt Alida, sales rep with the Dan Jemis team. And uh, what do you say, Matt? We start covering uh, the market updates. Exciting. Let's the, do the it. The recap. The recap, yeah. I should say, right? Absolutely. For 2023, the year flew by. Mm-hmm. My goodness, it always goes by fast. But really, this year, I find, like the summer, I find just... It's Next too short. You know, it's, yeah. very, it's much too yeah. short. Uh, so we've been telling you over the last little bit um, about you know what's, what we're seeing across Windsor, Essex County. We, well, obviously, we share with you every month. But uh, over the last six months or so, we've been seeing some changes, right? And some prices starting to soften a little bit. Some listings sitting on the market a bit longer. Absolutely. I think December pretty much showed the same. Nothing really changed. It was nothing surprising, right? Right. It's pretty much as we predicted about six months ago that we'd wrap up with the year. Uh, so let's take a closer look here a little bit. We can talk more in depth. So uh, listings were down uh, 22% in December. So quite a big drop of listings uh, from uh, 386 to 301. So again, a good a good chunk of change. Year to date, listings were down 11%. Okay. So, uh, again, with the majority of that happening in the latter part of the year, mm-hmm. right? Uh, sales were down 11.37% in December compared to December of last year. Um, and really, what does that equate to? About 31 listings, uh, so 31 less sales for the month of December. Sure. So, December is uh, naturally our slowest month in the industry. The holidays coming up and people kind of just put a pause on things. Um it usually picks back up again in January. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm curious to see what happens come this January, this month, obviously. Uh, we'll see where, where we end up there. Year to date, sales were down almost 16%, 15.58%. Okay. Not shocking, I don't think. No, no, not at you all. You know, we've been seeing those listings uh, numbers climbing a little bit, sales slowing down as people try and figure out what's happening, especially as the interest rates we're continuously climbing, mm-hmm. you know, through the majority of the of the year last year, before they started, you know, coming down in October or so. Uh, the average price in December was up eight percent, eight point zero six percent. So we saw an average price of uh, five hundred fourteen thousand dollars compared to four seventy six in December of last year. Year to date, pretty much right where we predicted. Uh, we haven't budged much over the last four months, five months. Uh, December, we ended up the year, uh, with a price of 556. Okay. So right in that half, it was the same in, uh, September, same in you know, July, August, we were 567, 567. So really, we haven't changed much since the beginning of the year. Uh, in April, we were 553. So we hovered in that same price bracket. Our prices pretty much held steady, which again, it's what we kind of expected to happen. Our prices weren't going down that much. Yeah. How do you feel about those? Yeah, I mean, that's it's pretty accurate representation of what we saw through the year, right? Like you said, um, who knows what's going to happen with, well, there's, there's a lot of talk about what's going to happen with the interest rates when they start creeping down. Um, we're likely to see, do I think we're going to see a spike in prices? Yes. Like yeah, I, I, I think yeah. that, you know, we're going to see that jump up a little bit. Um, whenever that happens, um, I think the next announcement is late January, right? Mm, yes, the, correct. Yeah, twenty. The, don't quote me, twenty something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I saw too. Um, I don't think the I don't think they're calling for it to go down in January, right? Not I think January, it's, it's spring I think. time, right? Yes. But it, I mean, I think with that in mind, like I've told multiple clients, I had two buyers in December that both got accepted offers. Uh, one's already closed, and it worked out really well for them in terms of pricing. And I said to them, like, this might be a brief window of opportunity you have before the interest rates start going down again. Yeah. Right. Because what you're likely to see happen is there's going to be a bunch of buyers that jump back into the market at the same time, creating competition. And if you get in now, even if you have a slightly higher interest rate, then you always, you know, you're going to have an opportunity in the future to take a lower interest rate, whether you do variable or you take a shorter term on your mortgage, that's right. whatever, right? So that's what I'm kind of telling people at this point in time. Yeah, like take advantage of the market as it is right now because prices are likely to go up again. Well, we're expecting, well, so I should also follow up. Uh, a recent report came out uh, that is showing our Windsor Essex uh, County prices mm-hmm. climbing 7.5% this year. Right. 
So again, back on the rise. So we've pretty much, you know, everyone's saying that they're pretty much expecting to have seen the lowest of the market. And moving forward, we're kind of going to hover and and climb a little bit uh, to an average price somewhere around six hundred thousand dollars. So yeah, when's the next announcement there? January. So yeah, Joyce. Uh, thank you, Joyce. Yes, uh, just sent this over to me. Uh, January 24th, 24th is the next one. Yeah. yeah, so there's January, March, April, June, July, September, October. Yes, December. I'm not sure we're going to see uh, you know, a decrease in January. I think maybe March uh, yeah. is what we're kind of hearing from some economists. So we'll see what happens yeah. uh, as, as stuff shows through, right? But uh, it's going to be interesting. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, what we're expecting to see is the moment that they announce uh, the decrease in interest rate, even by quarter point, which is likely what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we're expecting things to spur right back up again and some competition to start up again. So from a buyer's perspective, quite frankly, this is the time to jump yeah. in before we start seeing the, you know, the market pick back up again. You got your, your picket litter right now, not, uh, you know, not as much competition. Um, the busy price points are still there. The, the, sure. you know, under five, under six, they're still busier than the over $600,000 price point. Um, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, if you are looking to make a move this year, I would start, you know, talking to your realtor right about now. Yep. Don't wait uh, before the interest rates start coming down. And again, like Matt said, they're going to start decreasing these rates by a quarter point at a time. It's not going to make or break a transaction, but it will make a big difference in the amount of attention that each listing is getting, yep. which will drive up the price. What they and say, so, date the rate, marry the mortgage, right? That's, that's right. So, that's you know, right. You, you can... You're, if you get the lower mortgage amount right now, adjust that adjust that rate later, right? That's right. Just go ahead and, and take advantage of it because it has worked out. Like I said, the two two buyers that decided they wanted to to do it in December, and I said, hey, it's it's a good time, and it worked out very well for them in comparison to what if they had you know bought even during the summer or the fall. So hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent, fantastic. Thanks, Matt, for that. Thanks, Joyce, for sending that over. Uh, we're going to take a break here. We're going to come back and talk to Chris Gibb from Gibb Insurance Brokers with our insurance segment. Uh, and before I go to break, I should also mention, if you are looking to make a move, the Dan Gemmis team is always happy to help. You can reach out to us seven days a week. Find us online at dangemmis.com, D-A-N-G-E-M-U-S.com, or call our office at 519-566-5565, 519-566-5565. Fifty-five, sixty-five. We're going to take a break, come back with Chris. We're also going to give away the gift card for the Richmond Popcorn Company in the next half hour. If you haven't already entered, make sure you text the keyword SNACK to 10-800 with your first and last name for your chance to win. Okay, lots more to come right here on the Dan Gemmis Real Estate Show.